Hey, what's up my fellow Halloween friends? I have a cool prop to show you guys that I made. It is pretty inexpensive and it looks pretty cool. I call this the fire pit. I wanted to set up my prop characters around a fire pit, have them having a couple brewskis, grilling some meat, that kind of thing. I thought it would be kind of a fun thing for my Halloween display this year. So let's check out the process on how I made this cool prop. This is just a bucket that I had sitting around and I figured, man, this would make a perfect cauldron. I don't really use it for anything. It's got a hole in the bottom. Let's get to work. All I'm really doing is taking some scrap wood to fill the opening of what is going to be the fire pit and make a base for the fire. After you have your opening secured, you want to take a piece of cardboard, trace the shape so you can make a template that's going to um, act as a backer for the spray foam. Be sure you have a nice secure surface to cut out your cardboard. And I'm just going to secure this cardboard with a couple screws. Like I said, this is a pretty cheap DIY project. I just used a lot of scrap material that I had laying around. Really. Um, the only thing that I bought was a $10 flashing light strand from from Walmart and uh, a $2.75 can of spray foam. So I'm trying to take the lights and pile them up loosely. And then you're just going to go around and disguise those lights with spray foam. Spray foam is kind of fun to use, but I would suggest you wear some latex gloves. I did not because I'm a ding dong. I did not wear my latex gloves. But if you get this stuff on your fingers, it's going to take probably four or five days for the, it to completely wash off. This stuff sticks like crazy. So um, try not to make a mess. I mean, if you had a clogged straw and you squeezed on that can, you could pop spray foam all over yourself and just be in a real mess. But spray foam, when it works right, is pretty fun to use. See, it doesn't matter if you cover up the lights here because they're going to shine through the spray foam. So as you can see, the spray foam is all dried up. It probably takes about an hour for it to be real nice and firm. And then we're going to go over it with some spray paint. So I'm starting off with black. And yes, I'm being safe and I'm wearing a respirator. I would suggest you do that if you're painting indoors. It's a good idea going over it with the black spray paint. Now it's time to break out the red spray paint and go over and add some highlights. So when the lights shine through this, it's going to make them shine nice and red which is what we want. But let's uh, light it up and see what we got. Because I'm using some flashing lights, it looks like the coals are flickering. I love it. So there you have it. Makes an amazing Halloween prop. My uh, dudes there are enjoying it. <laughs> so go ahead and try this out for yourself. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Happy Halloween.